Hi guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. Coral Key Boas are an awesome dwarf locality boa from a small island off the coast of Belize. Today I want to show you my whole group of these awesome, endearing, pint-sized boa constrictors. If you're new to the channel, this is the place for information about all aspects of keeping and breeding boas in captivity. So if you want to learn all about these amazing animals, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. So I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys lately about these crawl key boas, which is great to see the interest out there. I don't have a pairing this year. I bred my breeding pair in 2020, had a nice litter. So I'm giving them the year off, but hopefully in 2022, I should have some more of these beautiful little guys for sale. So this is the father of the 2020 litter. This guy is about seven and a half years old. You can see he's the perfect pocket boa constrictor. He's about four feet long. He's not gonna get any bigger than this. Great animal to handle. You can see he just kind of holds on, not too tight. Uh, but you know, he's definitely got the boa constrictor behavior in this little pint-sized package. And I love taking this guy out and showing people what they think boas are, you know, giant snakes. Cause I mean, look at this guy. He's like no bigger than a corn snake or a ball python. And I love his coloration. He's got this beautiful silvery steel gray coloration. Uh, these animals lack most, if not all, of the red and yellow pigment. They're kind of a naturally occurring anerythristic boa. This guy was bred by Michael Beach from Rio Bravo Bloodlines. Another nice thing about this guy, he's got some partial striping towards his tail. And the cool thing about these call key boas is they have really variable patterns. I mean, some of them have really well-formed saddles. Others have kind of more aberrant saddles with a lot of striping. And you can see a lot of different variety even in the same litter. So something for everyone. This is my adult breeding female crawl key boa. She's one of my older animals. She's about 16 years old. And I actually got her when she was about 10 years old and she had already had a few litters at that point. So she's pretty big for a crawl key. She's probably about five and a half feet. So, you know, some of them get a little bigger. You know, the males stay smaller on the smaller side. So if you really want a small one, you know, get a male. But this isn't really that big of a snake, all things considered. When I got this female, I also had a male that was about the same age, and they were both bred by Gus Renfro at Rio Bravo Reptiles, so they came right from the source. And I bred that pair back in 2017, had my first litter of crawl key boas, and I held back several of them, which I'll show you in a minute. Unfortunately, the original male passed away a little bit thereafter, and that's when I got the male that I showed you before from Michael Beach. And so this female looks like she's doing quite well. And, you know, hopefully I should be able to get at least a few more litters out of her. Uh, boas can breed into their 20s. So hopefully she's got at least a few more litters left. And I'm planning on pairing her up again with the male I showed you uh, in the 2022 breeding season. So hopefully about a year from this summer, I should have some more of these beautiful babies. So I'm going to show you some of my 2017 holdbacks. So you get an idea what they look like when they're sub-adults. I have three 2017 holdbacks that I'm growing up from my first litter to use as future breeders. This is one of the females and she has this really nice light coloration. Uh, Crawl Kibos do change color from dark to light somewhat and she's usually more of the lighter face like she is now. What I really like about this animal is she's got a lot of this like pinkish purple highlights to her sides. It's a little bit subtle. Hopefully you can see it on the camera, but really beautiful animal. So this particular animal has pretty uh, well-formed saddles. You know, she doesn't have the aberrancies that you see on some individuals of this locality. Um, and overall, just a really nice looking animal. Uh, I'm gonna show you my other two and you can see the contrast in the different patterns that they have. Uh, even from the same litter, which is not uncommon to see with these crawl key boas. This is my 2017 holdback male. You can see his pattern is you know, quite a bit different, maybe not quite as clean as the female with a, you know, more speckling and the saddles are a little bit more apparently shaped. You can see this guy is about the same size as the female, maybe three, three and a half feet. You know, but still pretty compact size and I'm keeping him in a rack system within the large boa tubs and you know that's fine for even adult animals you can keep in these big boa tubs. 
which have a lot of advantages over the plastic sliding glass uh, snake cages. But this male, you can see he's kind of holding on. He's maybe a little bit more brownish. Some of the Qualki boas have kind of more of a brownish gray coloration. Some of them are almost kind of a dirty tan in color. And some of them have this really nice steel blue coloration, like the first male I showed you has this beautiful steel blue gray coloration that I like a lot. But you know, this is a cool male. You know, hopefully this guy will be ready in about a year or two to breed. And I'll have hopefully some second generation Qualki boa breedings. One more 2017 holdback female to show you. So this is my other female that I held back from that litter. She's actually in shed right now. You can see how cloudy her eyes and her skin look. But you can see, you know, the beautiful look overall. This particular female has this nice stripe towards her tail. You can see that. Um, she also has a lot of the speckling on the sides and kind of a wild look to her. One thing that's cool with the Qualki boas is, is that they have this beautiful white belly with these dark black flecks and it's just really nice to look at. Uh, so another nice female, hopefully, as I mentioned, around 2022 or 2023, these animals should be ready to pair up. So I've got three holdbacks from my 2020 litter that I'm gonna show you, but I wanna get out my close-up lens because they're still quite small and you know show you some details up close. And these next three are actually half siblings to these three 2017s. They have the same mother, but a different father. Their father is the male that I showed you at the beginning of this video. Here's a holdback male from my 2020 Qualki litter. And he's grown quite nicely. This guy, he's about six months old now. He still looks pretty small, but you know, he has grown quite a bit. When these guys are babies, they're really tiny, maybe 14, 15 inches, among the tiniest of the locality boas as babies. And what attracted me to this guy is he's got these kind of cool jungly looking saddles. They're a little bit aberrant. Just a cool animal. Give you a sense of scale. But they're growing nicely. What I also like about these call key boas is as babies, generally they're easier to get to feed than a lot of the other types of island boas like the hog islands. Here's another view of this guy so you can appreciate how cool looking his saddles are. Here's a female from the 2020 litter. And this one has kind of these blocky looking, somewhat apparent shaped saddles. But you can see the pattern is quite a bit different from the brother I just showed you. And I found that every, uh, each one of the babies had its own distinctive pattern. There really wasn't a lot of similarities. So one of the cool things about keeping these Qualki boas. And there's a close up. Maybe we can get a tongue flick if I, no, she's not gonna flick her tongue for us, but you can see how she looks a little bit up close. Oh, she flicked her tongue, look at that really hard to film these boas sometimes they just want to do their own thing and here's my last call key boa another female just wanted to show you her in my hand to give you a sense of scale you can see even at six months old she's literally just a little handful of a boa and what attracted me to this female was this beautiful stripe towards her tail you can see she's got about a quarter of her body that's striped and then the rest of her saddles have this really nice symmetrical look so Really cool two-toned type of pattern that attracted me to this boa. And you know, she should produce some really stunning offspring when she reaches maturity. So those are my Qualki dwarf boa constrictors. If you're looking to get a pet boa constrictor, but you're limited on space, or you think that a full-size boa constrictor is a little too much snake for you, I can't more strongly recommend these Qualki boas. They're the perfect dwarf boa constrictor. They have all of the behaviors of the big boas in this adorable pint-sized package. I hope to be producing lots more of these Qualki boas in the next few years. So I hope this video was helpful. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to shoot me a line. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.